Hello everyone. So this is part two of uh, the chapter GDP. Uh, we will start with what is counted and not counted in GDP. So first, GDP includes all items produced in the economy and sold legally in the markets. So all of this is included in GDP. Uh, so within a specific year, for example, in 2020, whatever China or United States uh, produce in their uh, country's boundaries, whatever they produce, it will be included in the GDP. And what is not included, what GDP excludes, are services that are produced and consumed at home and that never entered the marketplace. Example, caring labor, the work that is, that is normally produced by women. So, for example, if your mom or your sister, uh, if they are working in, uh, in the home, they are washing dishes, they are uh, uh, washing clothes, whatever they do in their home, it is not included in the GDP. Other than that, sales of goods that were produced outside our domestic borders. So whatever is produced outside of China is not included in China's GDP or whatever is produced outside Pakistan's boundaries is not included in Pakistan's GDP. That's the second thing. Third, sales of used goods. So uh, if, uh, if used goods are sold in a specific year, that is also not included in the GDP. The things that are new, that, are, that the country produces uh, from scratch in that year, only those things are included in GDP. So used goods, so if used cars are sold in the market, they are, uh, their price is not included in the GDP of that country. Fourth, we have transfer payments made by the government, like the transfer payments that government uh, makes to different people, uh, for example, subsidies or uh, income support programs, uh, like in Pakistan, we have Benazir income support program. So these kind of uh, things, they are also not included in GDP. Fifth, intermediate goods that are used to produce other final goods. So intermediate goods uh, are also not included in GDP. So intermediate goods would be like, for example, in the case of uh, jeans, uh, the thread was an intermediate good. So that was not included in GDP. Only the jeans, the market price of jeans was included in GDP and not the thread used to produce jeans, the price of those threads was not included, is not included in GDP. So thread and everything uh, in between, all of that was intermediate goods. So those intermediate goods were, uh, are also not part of the G GDP. And then we also exclude everything sold in the black markets like illegal drugs or smuggled goods. All of those things are also not included in the GDP. And finally, we also don't include the goods that were produced in previous year. So for example, if we are calculating GDP in 2020, we will not include uh, the things that were produced in 2019 because those things will be included in GDP of 2019 and not in 2020. So uh, I hope that uh, it's clear. And here we have like seven different things, seven different uh, things that are not included in GDP. So now uh, we will move on to the components of GDP. So GDP is the sum of the following terms. So this is the equation of GDP. Y, which is denoted as GDP, this is GDP, is equal to C plus I plus G plus NX. Here, C is consumption, I is investment, G is government purchases, and NX is net exports. So this is simply the equation of GDP. This is uh, GDP is equal to consumption plus investment plus government purchases plus net exports. So what are these components? Uh, let's discuss these in detail. So the first one is consumption. Uh, the C is private consumption expenditure or consumer spending. It's the spending that are done by consumers. So in every country, there are a lot of consumers. Consumers are people who purchase things in the market. Uh, so C represents their spending. Consumers spend money on goods and services such as groceries and haircuts. So consumers can spend a lot of money in uh, different countries. It, this is a major uh, component of GDP. 
So, if, uh, for example, if you are, you are also a consumer, everyone is a consumer in a country. So, uh, so if you're watching this video, you're a consumer. If you purchase uh, anything for your survival, like food or uh, or other stuff like clothes or haircuts or uh, some body spray or anything, that is consumption. Uh, that is included in GDP. The second component is investment. The I is for private domestic investment or capital expenditures. Businesses spend money to invest in their businesses. Example, buying machinery. So in every country, there are a lot of businesses and these businesses, they spend money, they invest money uh, to increase, expand their business or to maintain their business. So for example, if business wants to expand, they might uh, build a new factory or a firm in another city or if they want to improve their business uh, they might purchase new kind of machinery they might invest in new technology or something like that so investment or private domestic investment is also uh, one of the important common components of GDP so first we have consumption second we have investment the third is government purchases the g represents government consumption expenditures and gross investment these are uh, the expenditures that are done by the government so all the expenditures done by the government of a country uh, it's uh, are also included in gdp and it's a separate component of gdp so if government is spending money on equipment infrastructure and payroll all of these all of the expenditures by government are included in gdp as a separate component so we have these three components and finally we have net exports uh, or NX the formula for net exports is NX is uh, net exports is equal to exports minus imports so what are exports exports are all the goods and services that are produced in a country and are sold outside the country and imports are uh, are the things goods and services that are produced outside the country and are uh, purchased by uh, by uh, uh, by your country so for example if uh, united states purchases some stuff from china that would be imports for united states and if china is selling something to united states so those things would be exports for china so now uh, when we uh, deduct imports from exports we get net exports so a current account surplus boosts a nation's gdp so if exports are more than imports that would uh, that would be good for gdp the gdp would increase but if exports are less than imports that would mean negative net exports so if exports uh, if imports are greater than exports then uh, there will be uh, a deficit in net exports and that will reduce the GDP. So we have uh, these four components of GDP, consumption, cons uh, consumers, uh, uh, spending done by consumers, investment is something that is done by businesses, Com government purchases are all the purchases done by uh, the spending done by the government and finally net, e net exports which is uh, exports minus imports. So these are the components of GDP. So now we will move on to Another important, uh, uh, sorry, uh, these are also GDP and its components for the United, for United States uh, for the year 1998. Here in 1998, the GDP of United States was $8,511 billion. And out of these $8,511 billion, uh, that is $8.5 trillion, $5.8 trillion was on uh, was on consumption and investment uh, uh, the component of investment as part of the GDP was 1.367 trillion dollars government purchases contribution was 1.487 trillion dollars to the GDP and finally net exports here the negative sign means that exports exports were less than imports that is United States had more imports than exports that's why net exports is negative so it contributed negatively to gross domestic product 
So the, this is just an explanation, an example of how the different components of GDP uh, normally are in a country. Consumption is always the biggest part uh, of a GDP. So this is also shown in the graph here. Consumption plate, uh, it's, it's the same, uh, uh, it's, a, uh, it's for the figures that we saw in the previous slide. Uh, this is a pie chart for the same uh, table. Here the consumption is 68%, which is, if we go back, $5.8 trillion, it translates to 68%. And investment was 16% of GDP. Government purchases were 18% of GDP and net exports were negative 2% of the GDP. This is for United States for the year 1998. So that's it for the components. Now, uh, I hope you understand the, con uh, the components of a GDP. Now we have to move on to another important concept that is real versus nominal GDP. But we will do that in uh, the next part. So goodbye for now. Uh, revise these concepts and uh, I'll see you in the third part of the, the lecture on GDP.